So there you go. Are you looking to change your job? Are you looking to change your life? Are you looking for something new? It's amazing the things we get stuck into because of responsibility, when in actual fact, because as I said at the start of the show, we are only here upon this earth but once, it really is something we owe to ourselves to try to fill that time with something we love doing. Now, if you're looking for great opportunities, there are some huge companies looking for you. I want to introduce you now to the head of the financial communications of the Direct Line Group, a lady called Jennifer Thomas, who's here because their company is looking for people like you. Jennifer, lovely to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, welcome to the job show and to Ideal World. Thank you. We chatted earlier on. Yep. First and foremost, who are the Direct Line Group? We're one of the largest insurers in the UK. Um, we represent well-known brands such as Direct Line, Churchill, Privilege, Green Flag, some interesting brands that I'm sure a lot of your viewers have seen on their tellies. Um, we sell products such as motor and home insurance, pet insurance, uh, protect you for when you're going on holiday, so your travel insurance, and we also do what we call commercial insurance, which is for a small, medium-sized businesses. See, now, when we were chatting mm. earlier on, you said that to me, and I was mm. like, okay, I know Direct Line Group, because obviously I know they do insurance, but they do a whole lot more than that, don't they? Yes, we do, and I, I think often people have um, a misconception about what insurance involves, and or probably don't know anything at all about it, to be honest. Um, it's quite a dynamic industry. We're a very dynamic and vibrant company, and you can do an array of things. So we have jobs from um, working in the garage. You've got your paint technicians, your panel repairers, people that are literally fixing your cars when you get in an accident. Then you can move into the offices, and you could be front and center speaking to our customers on the phone, whether that's selling them a policy, helping them through a problem, helping them through a claim. It's a real people business. And then you can move across to what we call our central functions, um, the operational part of the business. So we've got roles in finance, HR, communications, marketing. There's a wide breadth there for you. Is it designed for a certain individual or is it age specific? I mean, who would suit the roles that you're offering? I would say, quite honestly, any and everybody. The type of people we are looking for, we want energy, we want creativity, we want people thinking outside of the box. If you're really um, uh, numeric and technically minded, we've got things like pricing and underwriting, um, actuarial um, for the bookworms out there. Um, if you're more creative, like I said, we've got a, a really vibrant marketing team. Obviously, your viewers see lots of our adverts, so you could be one of the people that's behind the creation of those. Um, you've got people like me that work in communications, there's a wide breadth and you can come in from either entry level through our grad scheme, you can come in through the apprentice scheme, or if you're mid-career or senior, you can also come through that way. I'll talk about the grad scheme in a moment and the apprenticeships because straight away I think any parent mm. right now is sitting there listening and going, apprenticeships, mm. always great, a great way to get into mm. work and so on and so forth. Yeah. Is this area specific or is it nationwide? We are nationwide. Um, we are a UK only company, but we are across the country um, in most central cities that you could think of. So Leeds, Birmingham, we're here in Peterborough, um, Bristol, Ipswich. We've got a big contact centre in Doncaster. We're headquartered in Bromley, Kent, um, also a contact centre there, but quite a few of our uh, central functions work there. So we're across the country and our repair centre is equally. We have 18 repair centres across the country as well. So individuals that are then maybe looking for employment, is there training given? Is it quite literally you have to be qualified? I mean, how does it work? It's a mix and it really does depend on the role that, that, that you want to take on. Obviously, uh, certain roles come with some qualifications that are needed, but we're really about developing and nurturing talent and helping you move through your career. So you might come in via one avenue and find yourself moving around the business. Um, and we like that and we think that's important. Customers are the central hub of our business. So irrespective of what you're doing in our company, we want you to experience what it's like to be there for the customer. And the training that might be given, is it always going to be training specific to mm. the individual role? How, how does that work? Again, it could be a mix. So there's um, sort of general training to get you up to scratch on the industry, um, the core basics of how insurance works. And, and then obviously, depending on what your role is, you'll have very specific training. That's a combination of on-the-job experience, workshops, um, in-house online training. Uh, we support you going on courses. Um, but we also like people to learn from their mentors and buddies within the organization so we get that organic development as well. Obviously each role is going to be 
um, should we just say salary specific, but are there rewards and benefits to individuals? Yes, we've got a very competitive, attractive package, um, which of course I would say, but but it is generally true. Um, our, if I touch on the grad and apprentice schemes mm -hmm. uh, briefly, um, not only do you get a very competitive salary coming in at, you know, as an entry level into the workplace, um, but also our core benefits include things like 50% off motor and home insurance, we get free breakdown cover, um, free travel insurance, and that's worth quite a lot. Any of you out there that, that have to purchase insurance yeah. will, will know that, that that's quite valuable. We also have a very healthy um, pension scheme uh, of about 9%, um, uh, generous holidays, uh, income protection, life protection. So it, it's, it's quite a broad spectrum of benefits that you get. Just listening to you, I can imagine that the employees that work for the mm. direct line group are going to be very, very happy with the company they work for and also mm. the conditions they work with. So before we continue, I think it's very important for every single one of you out there to understand this isn't just an umbrella company that just wants lots and lots of different people in. The people that work for the company love to work for the company. So take a little look at just some of those employees. One of our values in the company is bring all of yourself to work and I feel that we really do adopt this which is why I really enjoy working for DLG. The three best points about DLG is that there's always room for progression, it's a modern working environment and the people are great. A time when I've been able to take the lead is when my manager has given me the opportunity to train someone on a process that I know like the back of my hand. I think I had a different career path to most that would join the direct line group. Um, I started on the phone as a consultant and I worked in that role for a year. I always knew that I wanted to progress within that company. I was part of the very first social media team to be a part of direct line. It started off with just six of us and now there's around 20 people working on social media every day. I now have stepped back into the operational role and I've got a team of 15 that work on the phones day in day out and it's just such a fantastic place to be and if you work hard there are development opportunities there all the time. I think very much so Direct Line Group uh, empowers people to take the lead on projects. If we have ideas and we discuss it as a team, we think it's a viable idea, I think it's very much we take ownership of that idea uh, and move it on to the next stage and ultimately to deliver, to, to improve the service that we offer. So improving services, but also improving individuals. Are you that kind of individual? The job that you're doing is not challenging you. It's not testing you. You're just doing it because you can. How about something that really does get the best out of you? And it sounds, Jennifer, if I may, that the individuals that do come, as we can clearly see from that mm -hmm. VT, they really are excelling in the different positions that they do. Yes, definitely. And, and, and I think, like I said, we're very keen on development, progression. We not only want to attract talent, but clearly we want to keep our talent. Um, and actually, it works best for us if we can keep that all in-house and likewise help you know, individuals develop their career along the way. Now, you have a graduate program, which is incredibly exciting, I think, mm -hmm. for younger individuals. And we'll mm -hmm. dust on the apprenticeships in a moment, if mm -hmm. I may. But could we talk about the graduate program? Sure. So, and um, we've just launched an, a new graduate program this year. Had about 70 grads come through um, from a real diverse uh, mix of backgrounds, um, expertise, skills. Um, obviously, it's a graduate program, so we are we are looking for a degree um, to, to come in under that program. But actually, going back to what I said earlier, it's about the type of person we're, we're looking for. So we really want that high energy coming in from a, a different point of view. And actually, if we look at our young people today, insurance is on the cusp of a technological change. And we're looking at ways that how technology can really impact not only how we operate, but um, how we service our customers. So we actually think our young people are a, a great population to tap into for that. So when you come in on our grad program, um, it's a three-year program, um, you will come in under one speciality, um, but you get to move around. So similar to some of the examples we, we saw in that clip, um, people come in, we move you and rotate you around the business so that by the time you get to the end of the scheme, you would have had a really good uh, experience and mix of the different roles within the organization. And then ultimately, you can see which touches your buttons and what you're really good at and end with a permanent role. It's nice to know as well, and I think what really the message that is promoted here is you've worked so hard to attain that degree, mm. it's not going to go to waste because mm. that's the kind of individual, that hard, assertive individual mm. that is now going to be put into these different mm. positions to see which one really they fit best into. Exactly, and I think um, quite often, and, and I remember where I was that young person however many years ago now, um, you come into the workforce 
either maybe not having a clear idea of what you want to do or you might have a very clear path. What we like to do is give you the opportunity to explore either way. So even if you think you're really sure about what you want to do, try something else. See what else um, touches on your skills that you've already built up. What other new skills can you, can you bring to the table? And you might find by you get to the end, you have a job that's completely different to what you thought you were going to go to. Now, the open applications are for 2017? Yes, yeah, so um, we, because we've just sort of completed the round for 2016, we'll be opening up the next round shortly. Um, and if you think it is something that, that's for you, please go to our website, um, directlinegroupcareers.com, where you can register your interest and then we will contact you when, when the next round opens up. Now, what I love as well about the opportunities mm -hmm. that Direct Line Group are offering, they're not just... The, the, no one's being negated if you've got a qualification, mm -hmm. you're not being left out, because you offer apprenticeships as well, don't you? Yes, so, so we have just over 100 apprentices that have come into uh, the company recently. And again, university is not for everybody, and we appreciate that as well. And that shouldn't be a barrier to um, entry into our organisation. So what we want to do is offer roles, again, quite diverse, so everything from, like I said, that paint technician, that car mechanic, all the way through to a finance role, HR, marketing, um, give you the opportunity to come in get that first-hand experience on the job training, um, and then you can develop and see what it is that interests you. We offer the same great package and benefits, um, so again, you're not penalized that way at all. Um, but like I said, you don't have to be tied to a classroom. It's great. Um, first and foremost, it sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. For anybody that wants to know any more information, where can they go? Um, so, as we mentioned, we will be at the job show um, next week on the 20th of October, so that's in London. Please come and visit us. Um, we'd love to have a chance to talk to you face to face. If you're unable to do that, again, visit our website where you can scan all of our jobs, everything from the grad program, apprenticeships, mid-career, senior roles, they're all there for you to view. Jennifer, thank you so much thank indeed. You. Um, so there you go. I mean, what more is there to know, really? That's just one of the companies, the Direct Line Group, are going to be there at the Crystal Palace Job Show. That's the 20th of October, so this time next week. Get yourself down there. If anything what Jennifer has said to you tickles your fancy or has all of a sudden lit those creative maybe lights in you, those juices are flowing now, you're thinking, I want to get down, I want to chat to someone, take your CV down there, but the best CV is you, the person. And remember, if you have worked hard to attain those degrees, remember that grad program. That is as enticing an opportunity as ever I have known. So that's the direct line group. They're going to be at the show next week, that being the 20th of October at Crystal Palace Football Club.